All right. This is the jelly session. The jellies were so bad. Only got to foil for about an hour, but I took out the, as you can see in the title, the 170 short fuse, short mast, 14 inch tail. Um, pretty fun. Um, I mean, it would have been a lot of fun if my back wasn't hurting a little bit and the jellies weren't just going nuts on me. Uh, here's a little takeoff slash almost surfy ride the pocket. Just had to throw that in there. Anyway, um, the uh, apple tree skipper. I don't know, man. It just it just feels better right now. It it's a little more balance with what I'm doing. I like that little spray and the little coming off of the wing there. That's pretty cool. Doing a lot of redirecting. The waves are really easy. This is just before the wind started to pick up. Uh, but getting back to the skipper, the skipper's really making things more surfy feel to me, more comfortable. Uh, may have to do some adjustments to the track pad. There's some gaps that are a little too wide for my toes. But all in all, I feel a lot more surfy on the board and um, can't wait to put the 140 on it. I probably could have rode the 140 today, but I wouldn't have had as much glide as I had today. There was just effortlessly going back out and looking for waves. Um, the only problem is with it starting to get choppier. I had to keep the the shorter mast down and got to be a little more precise. But I could see on the katana mast and the 140, I mean, might really should free it up and be able to start pushing and turning a little harder and a little deeper. So really stoked about the progression and everything that's happening. Just look at how flat the board is. The glide is just incredible and just come off and then you're like, okay, let me look around and see what I want to do here and go find something. Do I want to go left? Do I want to go right? Uh, even though it was pretty shallow again, just finding pockets of space to turn and and play. Uh, trying to stay out of those jellies though. That one right there, I think on that wave, I got zapped pretty good. Got welts all over me. But it's the price you pay. And plus, I was the only one out. So I got all the ways to myself. You can see you can just go really slow, the stall speed, and then regather and find a little power. Super fun turns, just trying to remember to hold the turn longer and all the way through and drive, and then push down when it fades back up. Like I said, a lot of pumping, no problem. Just pump all the way back to where you wanted to go. The wind wasn't too strong yet, so you could pump against the wind, go back to the right. I always like to go back right when I can, it's just so I'm back where I started. I don't know if that's just a surf thing, but I don't really like to go downwind and walk all the way back up or paddle all the way back up. So I try to ride it and then ride back. That's always fun when you're able to do that. Again, just literally riding almost nothing. The 170 can do it. I'm still pumping, I think, more than I need to, but I'll start to smooth that out as I start surfing it more, going rail to rail or edge to edge on the foil, but just all over, going back and forth. Be interesting to see what my Dawn Patrol watch looks like with all the back and forth, but here I am going in and coming on in. The jellies have just gotten the best of me, but pump all the way in. Just ride the little bumps. Thanks for watching. Message me if you have any comments or Want to talk about it? See ya.